Hey, what's up? It's Greg from Fisherman's Headquarters, and today is Tuesday, October 19th. I'm up here in the North End Bayside, taking a stroll along the dike here in Barnegat Light, section of High Bar Harbor, checking in with you guys to share an updated fishery report. So right now, we've got Lake Atlantic conditions along the surf. We've got a stiff westerly wind. It was cranking westerly yesterday, flattened that ocean right out, and that continues today. Uh, if you were out today, obviously you know, we've got a good cold kind of chill in the air. Uh, it's definitely warming up now, beautiful sunny day, um, more, more seasonably uh, nice right now than it was m earlier. It was much, uh, much colder this morning. Uh, as far as the fishing front goes, there's some tog fishing taking place here on the north end of LBI, up in the Barnegat Light and the jetty. Some anglers fishing local wrecks and reefs, catching them as well there. And also some sea bass action. Striped bass becoming more and more abundant. Uh, there's been some reports really all summer long, right into the fall run here. And, uh, Starting to see some nicer fish showing up. Uh, there's also some bluefish around. Uh, most of those have been on the smaller side, but just this morning started to find some bigger ones. Uh, I had uh, local angler Dave out for a charter this morning. Uh, I had a fish that was 35 inches, 35 and it was 15 inches round. It was a real real fat bluefish, uh, definitely the nicest bluefish I've caught in a, in a, in a while, seen, seen on my deck of my boat. Uh, also had a couple other fish over 30 inch range. Um, so it wasn't just kind of a one unicorn. So Definitely something I'd like to share with you guys is some, some nicer bluefish are in the area. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, I believe the Long Beach Island Surf Fishing Tournament does not have any bluefish weighed in. It has to be 28 inches to qualify. Uh, so maybe that would be something on the near term horizon we might be seeing uh, here on the, on the beaches of LBI. Uh, if you're not fishing the surf, it's really game time. Now, now is it. Uh, the mullet run is definitely fizzling out, dwindling down. Uh, just received a fresh delivery yesterday, so it's not over. Uh, but definitely the mullet run here on the Jersey Shore and Long Beach Island is definitely on its way out. They, its days are numbered. Here mid-month, uh, it's 19th of October. Uh, full moon is tomorrow on Wednesday the 20th. Uh, it's safe to say that the mullet run is, is right on schedule with being over. Uh, normally, you see it kind of a, a full moon phase, uh, you know, a month long. Um, so with that being said, there are other opportunities on the surf. Uh, now that the mullet run's kind of fizzling out, you're going to want to start shifting gears over to fishing clams and bunker. Uh, nothing wrong with fishing worms as well. The kingfish bite is still happening. I think that's also going to slowly decline as the days progress and the water decreases. Uh, today I had 62 to 64 degree ocean temperatures. Uh, that is not right along the beachfront. That's out 30 to 50 foot of water. So it'll be interesting to see exactly what's on the beachfront. But I would be willing to guess it's in the mid 60s the upper 60s i think are behind us um the, the kingfish action would would probably be good right to the end of the month um normally we don't really see much kingfish activity in the month of november it's kind of crazy to, that i mentioning the month of november but it's right around the corner uh halloween is just you know a couple weeks away here um normally around this time of year is when the temperatures kind of start cooling off we start getting these uh westerlies these cold fronts coming through stiff westerlies uh flatten that ocean out cool off the temperatures uh, start seeing a shift in pattern. Uh, that is really the fall weather we have here in Long Beach Island, the Jersey Shore. Uh, with that said, normally you start seeing some other critters show up. Dogfish show up in really big numbers right around Halloween. Uh, I've already heard of some showing up now, so we're kind of right on schedule with that. In, in my eyes, I've always noticed that the dogfish show up, and right around when they show up, the bigger bass start kind of showing up right around uh, that same point in time or right behind them. Uh, with all that being said, the tog fishing should improve. Um, I think you should see better fishing out in the inshore uh, wrecks and reefs, those local snags. Uh, like I mentioned, the kingfish should kind of be dwindling down. I think the blowfish should be kind of making their way uh, out of here uh, right about now. Uh, maybe there'll be a couple more weeks of that, but, but not much more than that. Um, weak fish definitely is still happening. Some smaller uh, ones out front, some spikes chasing around that small bait. There's definitely an abundance of bait in the area. Uh, like I mentioned, mullet run's still here. Mullet definitely fizzling out. But there's uh, good, uh, good piles of uh, menhaden, the adult bunker here. Uh, saw some peanut bunker just the other day as well. Uh, I probably shouldn't use the terminology peanut bunker, more of a baby bunker. Uh, say three, four, five inch baits. Uh, some people even call them lollipops once you start getting to that four to six ounce uh, size. We actually had some of those just a few days ago. A local uh, cast netter brought us some, some beautiful lollipops. Anglers were fishing them on the mullet rig since uh, we didn't have mullet at the time. Uh, also, you could take a look, uh, matching the hatch for sand eels, uh, they're around. Also, match the hatch for spearing, they're around. And also, bay anchovies. 
Uh, all those three would be look uh, to, to match that hatch. Look for a small slender lure. Uh, that could be a hoagie epoxy jig, could be a hoagie sand eel jig, uh, possibly the, the classic Ava diamond jig. Um, some long uh, metals would, would do the trick for that. Uh, SP minnows are also a great option. A bunch of other lures like uh, some bucktails too. Uh, all that being said, there's definitely some opportunities still on the bay side uh, for striped bass. And normally October, November are great times to fish the bay for stripers. Uh, before I get too far off, uh, as far as the bait goes, there's definitely a lot of uh, squid around too. Had some fun fishing for those a week or so back, and the, abundant, the abundance of squid is definitely still around. Great to see. Um, tuna fishing action still happening offshore, the midshore grounds. Uh, I think I mentioned sea bass happening. Seems like they're going a little deeper water right now than we've seen in the past few weeks. Um, if you guys are going to get geared up, looking to go fishing, stop by Fisherman's Headquarters, located on Long Beach Island. Check out our updated fish reports now and throughout the entire season at fishinglbi.com. Uh, definitely appreciate all the positive feedback in the shop. Uh, I've been hearing lots and lots of customers um, coming into the store thanking me for the reports. Um, really appreciate that feedback. It kind of keeps me going. Uh, if you guys want to learn about something specific, you want me to talk about something specific, I'll try to give some informative posts, uh, some videos throughout the fall, maybe that don't have a, a fishing report themed around it. Uh, maybe I'll wait till the season's over for that, but we'll see how that goes. Uh, but once again, yes, I really appreciate uh, everybody's feedback. Check out the videos, sharing them. Thank you. Uh, if you got any, you know, got any, uh, in, you know, tips or tricks you, you want to know about or you want to share, feel free to message them over. Um, if you want to have a topic talked about, feel free to send an email, send a message, send a comment down there. I uh, appreciate everybody subscribing. If you don't subscribe, please subscribe, like us, uh, follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and on YouTube. Have a great day.